y'all, Mandy from My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related, and today we're gonna talk about assassin snails. So I woke up this morning and turned on all my fish tank lights, and and in one of my tanks, I noticed an insane amount of baby snails. So I knew that they'd been breeding, and I knew my platies also have been starting to breed like crazy lately. But I didn't realize how big of a problem that I had. So I looked in my tank and I probably, just the snails that I counted, just the baby snails that I counted, I had at least 60. Just that I could see at the front of the tank. So knowing I couldn't go out and get like a loach or something that could eat snails, I ran to my local fish store and asked them if they had any assassin snails in stock. Luckily they did. So assassin snails are a carnivorous snail. They will eat other snails that are smaller than them. Uh, they can go after snails of equal size, but as long as there's plenty of baby snails for them to feed off of, then they usually will leave bigger snails alone. Because I do have a couple of mystery snails and a racer snail that is in my tank as well. But those guys are pretty decent size, so I don't think that the assassin snails are going to mess with them. Especially because there are like a million baby snails for them to munch on. So basically my understanding of the assassin snail is that they will pretty much bury themselves in their substrate and wait for food, wait for smaller snails and other things for them to consume. So if you have a snail problem like I'm running into right now where your snails are breeding like crazy, these guys can help you to kind of keep your snail population in check if you've made the mistake of accidentally getting a male and female of your snails. I also probably have a few of the snails, I'm sure came from some of the plants that I put in the tank as well, but hopefully these guys are going to take care of all of my snail problem and get the population back under control. Now also if you have any like small shrimp that you're trying to breed or anything, any small bottom feeders that you're trying to breed and you don't have a large snail population, then you might want to reconsider getting an assassin snail. But I really need these guys to help me clean up my tank and I don't have anything in there besides snails for them to eat right now. So I did purchase two of these guys that I'm floating right now. Ideally, their temperature for these guys is gonna be between 75 and 80 degrees and a pH between 7.5 and 8. Now the average lifespan is around two years for these guys, but in a well-maintained aquarium, they can live up to five years. Now these guys only really do well in more mature aquariums, so you wanna make sure that you're not putting them in a tank that needs to be cycled. Now their ideal tank size is gonna be a 29 gallon or larger. Mine's only a 20 gallon tank, but I feel like the nine gallons isn't really gonna make a huge difference. These guys are considered to be more sensitive to any abrupt changes in pH or temperature. And if you have these guys, you might need to put in some kind of calcium supplement for them. As you can see in my tank here, there is an abundance of small little baby snails for these guys to feed off of. So I'm hoping that they're very hungry because they have their work cut out for them. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!